good morning dear student today i will discuss about the diesel and dio cycle their efficiency derivations this is the outline of the today lecture diesel cycle and the thermodynamic process pv and ts diagram related formula based on the basic thermodynamics thermal efficiency derivation of the diesel cycle dio cycle thermodynamic processes used in the dio cycle efficiency formula of the dio cycle this is the diesel cycle diagram in which the gasoline engine are the represented and the diesel engine is also represented the thermodynamic process which are the describing here the process 1 to 2 that is called isentropic compression in which the only the air is compressed in the engine cylinder instead of the fuel and air 2 to 3 that is the constant pressure heat addition in which the heat addition it is the taking place uh, by the fuel injection process taking place at the combustion chamber at the end of the uh, compression stroke where the air it is contact with the injected the fuel in, uh, fuel which is the uh, uh, initiated the process of combustion three to four that is the isentropic expansion after that uh, where the comp combustion process is completed there will be a chances of initiated of the expansion process due to the uh, uh, gases expansion it is start taking place from tdc to, to bdc 4 to 1 that is the constant volume heat reaction where uh, gases exhaust gases it will be exhausted into the atmosphere so there are the two types of engine where the are the differentiating gasoline engine and the diesel engine air fuel mixture which are the coming in the engine cylinder which is called the gasoline engine or the petrol engine where the spark plug is uh, 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 mounted at the uh, cylinder head in the case of the diesel engine where the only air it is the compressed and the injected of the fuel injector by the fuel injector at the end of the compression stroke and the combustion process initiated by this uh, method that is called a diesel engine this is the pv and the ts diagram in which the all the process are the swing one to two that is called isentropic compression already discussed in the previous slide two to three is the constant uh, uh, pressure heat addition where the uh, combustion it is taking at the constant pressure process 3 to 4 that is called the uh, isentropic expansion we are the expansion it is taking place after the combustion process 4 to 1 this is called a uh, constant uh, volume heat reaction so there are the four process yahan pe aapke char process hoti hain ki only the suction air andar aati hai aur air ke andar aane ke baad yahan pe air ka hi compression hota hai jisme ki compression ratio high limit ko cross karta hai and at the constant pressure यहाँ पे हीट का एडिशन होता है ड्यू टू द फ्यूल इंजेक्शन फ्यूल को इंजेक्ट किया जाता है एंड थ्री टू फोर दैट इज द आइसोट्रॉपिक एक्सपांसन ऑफ गैसेस ड्यू टू द बर्निंग ऑफ मिक्सचर ड्यू टू द फ्यूल इंजेक्शन प्रोसेस इज टेकिंग प्लेस एट द टीडीसी पॉइंट हियर एंड द फ्यूल सप्लाई इट इज कट ऑफ देयर बिकॉज ऑफ द नो फ्यूल इज सप्लाई बिकॉज ऑफ द कम्बर्शन इज टोटली uh initiated at the proper manner and 3 to 4 that is isentropic expansion it is taking place when the piston is moving from the 3 to 4 and the when the piston is moving from the tdc to bdc condition this is the isentropic process 4 to 1 that is called a constant volume heat reaction where the gases will be exhausted to the atmosphere at the constant volume process there is a four process that is a 1 to 2 it is a called a th diagram this is called a pv diagram this is the PV diagram pressure versus volume. This is the temperature versus entropy diagram. So, here are four processes 1 to 2, which is isentropic compression. Hai. In this process, uh, entropy remains the constant due to the heat transfer is 0. 2 to 3, that is the heat addition is take place where the temperature will rise. And the three to four that is called a process of isentropic expansion where the entropy remains the constant heat transfer is zero. Four to one it is called a uh, constant volume heat reaction process. It is taking place. So heat is supplying is here, and the heat is a reaction. It is taking place constant volume process. V one and V two is called a compression ratio already discussed in the auto cycle. V three by V two that is called a cutoff ratio. So here, point three, it is showing the cutoff point where the fuel supply, which is cutoff. Here, we fuel supply ko cutoff. Kar hai. 
So this is the PV and TH diagram where the thermodynamic processes are explained clearly. This is the related formula based on the basic thermodynamics one to two process. This is the description isentropic compression, where is the related formula already discussed in the auto cycle, two to three constant pressure heat addition, where the heat supply it is taking place of the MCP, T3 minus of T2 because of the constant pressure pe pe aapka heat addition or MCP T3 minus of T2. Isentropic expansion, there is a formula it is given and the four to one constant volume heat reaction that is the heat reaction is given by MCV T4 minus of T1. Thermal efficiency of the DL cycle that is uh, describing is here by the formula W net upon the heat supply is equal to one minus of the Q out by the Q in. Now, what is the total work done? Net work done that is the heat supply minus of the heat reaction. And I apply the first law of the closed system to the process two to three where the pressure is constant. Heat supply is given by formula that is called a W net is equal to uh, that is a, a constant uh, pressure process. Because of the change of internal energy, it is equal to the heat transfer minus of the work transfer and the formula it will be uh, remains unchanged because of the uh, change of internal energy is represented by the formula MCB T3 minus of T2 and uh, uh, this is the work done formula because of the P2 V3 minus of V2 is represented by the MR T3 minus of T2. This is the work done formula 2 to 3 limit PDB and it is the represented commonly and the finally QN is equal to MCP T3 minus of T2. This is the formula for the heat addition in a DL cycle. Apply the first law closed system to a process 4 to 1 where the volume remaining the constant. So if the volume remaining the constant for the 4 to 1 process, the formula will becomes the formula will becomes MCB T4 minus of T1. This is the formula of the uh, constant specific heat and the four to one process where the heat supply, uh, sorry, heat rejection, it is taking place at a constant volume process and the formula is MCB T4 minus of T1. So this is the uh, work done formula of the this process four to one PDB is equal to zero. So that's why here the formula will comes uh, MCB uh, T4 minus of T1. The thermal efficiency will becomes one minus of the Q word by the Q in and the formula will become here putting all these uh, values of the heat reaction and the heat supply. Jitni bhi aapki heat supply or heat reaction ki values put up kar denge pe. So P4 V4 by T4 is equal to P1 V1 by T1. This is the gas law where the V4 by V1 and the, after that simplification that is uh, comes to the T4 by T1 is equal to P4 by P1 and the recall the process 1, 2 uh, and 3, 4 that is called isentropic process in which the formula will reduce and it will be converted into this form. The thermal efficiency of the diesel cycle that is equal to the 1 minus 1 upon compression ratio of power K minus of 1 where K is called a ratio of uh, idea, uh, two specific heat into the uh, cutoff ratio to the power of the uh, adiabatic index minus of the 1 upon uh, that is the gamma or K that is a in bracket of the RC, which is called the cutoff ratio minus of one. So this is the formula which are coming after the simplification in the digital cycle. This is the standard formula of the thermal efficiency of the digital cycle, which are the detailing is here. Another cycle that is called a dual cycle, which are using in the high speed racing vehicles or uh, used in the where where the partially heat transfer it is taking place of the constant volume and the partially heat taking place at the constant pressure process. So these are the five process. Here you have five process. One to two isentropic compression. Two to three is the constant volume heat supply. Three to four constant pressure heat supply. Four to five that is called the isentropic expansion. So these are the process and finally five to one exhaust jo aapki gases bahar jaati hain unke liye ali process hai q out isentropic process jisme ki compression ho raha hai expansion bhi ho raha hai to firstly suction of the fresh charge jo ki hum har dam bola karte hain it is fresh charge is coming from the outside to the engine cylinder and one to two that is a compression of uh, uh, fresh charge is intake into the engine cylinder and after that uh, the uh, heat addition partially heat addition it is done at the uh, constant uh, volume process 
and a partially heat addition it is done at a constant pressure process and after that where the combustion process is completed there is a chances of uh, where the fuel supply it is cut off this is point the cut off this is point the cut off where the fuel supply it is cut off and after that uh, here the expansion is taking place this, this is called isentropic expansion and the 4 to 5 process that is called isentropic expansion 5 to 1 there the exhaust process it is taking place at a constant volume process so dual cycle gives a better approximation to a real engine the heat addition process is partially done which are already discussed in the literature at the constant volume and the constant pressure from the pv diagram it looks like a heat addition process is a combination of the both the r2 and the dual cycle so this is the main fact about the and the differentiate between the dual cycle r2 cycle it is different from the both cases uh, dual cycle where the it is a combination of the r2 and the dual cycle where the both combination it is taking place in the dual cycle partially heat addition it is taking place of the constant volume and the partially heat addition taking place at the constant pressure process so dual cycle where the processes and the description are the given here one to two isentropic compression two three three is the constant volume heat addition three to four constant pressure heat addition four to five is the isentropic expansion five to one is the constant volume heat reaction these are the five processes which are the taking place instead of the four process here the five process because of the partially heat addition at the constant volume and partially heat addition taking place of the constant pressure process so these are the differences and the same procedure as the auto and the dual cycle can be applied to the dual cycle jab sara procedure jaisa ki auto cycle mein kiya tha dual cycle mein kiya tha ki 1 by 1 karke procedure ko point ko apan logon ne consider kiya process ko aur uske karne ke baad thermal efficiency jo dual cycle ki thi that will come to the one minus of the that is called rp is the new factor pressure ratio cut off ratio to the power of gamma minus of 1 or k minus of 1 upon rp minus 1 that is the pressure ratio minus of 1 plus gamma or k that is the uh, gamma cp or kcp in the bracket of the rho minus of 1 and uh, the bracket outside of the bracket that is the compression ratio to the power gamma minus 1 this is the dual cycle thermal efficiency derivation so thank you this is the uh, lecture of dual and the dual cycle and their thermal efficiency if you have any doubt please ask me thank you